Good morning. Today is uh, Sunday, July 17th. Last night I went to bed at around 7.30 because I was so tired and I fell asleep within five minutes. And then I don't even remember anything that happened this night <laughs> because I was asleep so, so well. I've never slept so well in my life. And then I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I was wide awake. I couldn't sleep anymore. I guess that's the jet lag. So I just... Um, worked on my travel journal i'll show you guys so i have this little book travel journal in which i record what i do i'll show you an example so um a while ago i went to the tea mountains and then afterwards i made this which has the ticket of the tea museum like a bird and a butterfly that you can find in the area a little quote and the sticker and so i did that for well for the flights I went on, so these are the flight tickets and the movie uh, balls and I watched. And I wrote a bit of a journal entry talking about what I did yesterday and the day before, so I'm all caught up in a bit. I'm gonna edit, well, not edit, but finish the video, the title and the description and everything so that I can upload that today. So right now it's 7.30. Um, it's not very light yet. Well, it's light outside. The sun got up at 6.45, but the buildings are very high, so you can't see the sun yet, which is not a bad thing, I guess, because the sun's very hot. And I'm just gonna make a little breakfast and then head out. Well, I'll take a shower, finish some things, and then eventually head out. I don't want to head out too early because I will be in the city for a long time today. And it will be very hot, so I just want to make sure that I can, you know, survive the heat. So you enter here, you can put some stuff here. This is a bit of... I gotta clean this already. Towels, and then the bedroom. Nice big bed. And there's a little balcony over there, but these are the blinds so that it's dark at night. And to keep the sun out. A closet. And then over here we have the bathroom with a shower and a toilet and a little kitchen which even has a washing machine can you believe it microwave fridge so i'm gonna buy some fruit and water uh, you can drink tap water here but i think i'm just gonna get some bottles of water and then a dining table and the living room so over here you can see a little bit of the street I'm on. I'll show you around later. This is the street I'm on. So for breakfast I have a peach and I got some yogurt, I think. So I'm just gonna make that into a little glass because I don't have a bowl. And they have this instant coffee here, so I'm gonna make instant coffee too. And there we are, yogurt with peaches and black coffee. So the stones you see over here are like the walls of a house of a Greek philosopher. So these are obviously not the old walls, just the new ones to show us what it would have looked like. I don't know why, but for as long as I can remember, I've been so such a big fan of Greek mythology, the architecture, the style, the fashion, the food. And it's super cool to have that dream to be here in Greece come true this week. Little church, here we go. This is the Odeon of Herodes Attica. So it is a place where you have theater and you can play music, there are shows, and that's what it's that's what this all was supposed to look like. And right now we're here. I'm pretty sure they still do performances here. There's all these posters. So this is pretty cool. This is the mountain I want, the hill. And this stone, you can see it is very shiny and very slippery. And this is the stone they actually used to make all the I don't know, the floors and everything in houses. Like the same stuff you can find this in Taiwan, but in your house. And it's so funny that if people walk on it, it all gets polished and it's not a little church. All right, so if you want to go on the hill of the Acropolis and to the Acropolis itself, you have to get a ticket for 20 euros, which is, let me think, 600 NT, I think. Yeah, 600 NT. And I'm just not sure if it's gonna be worth it. I mean, I can see the whole city from here. I can see the whole Acropolis from the other mountains. And oh, 
all it is really is stone. And I can go, might as well just go to the Temple of Zeus and see the same fallen pillars and pay less money. So I might as well do that. I'm walking around on the hill still now. And it's intense because it's very hot. It's maybe just as hot as in Taipei, but the air is very different here. It's much drier. In Taipei, in Taiwan, it's super wet and humid and that's definitely not the case here. Like, there's cacti growing everywhere and cactus growing everywhere. It's a beautiful city, really. Very old, ancient and whatever. How cute is this house? I don't know where I'm going, but I like the road there. So romantic. Oh my goodness. So small, narrow, it's so pretty. Right, see this is a tree on the street and these are olives. I am somewhere again and where that somewhere is, I'm not entirely sure yet. Oh, from here you can see the Acropolis too. So on that side the National Park and right now I'm at the Olympion and here they have Roman baths, a temple of Apollo, the sanctuary of Zeus, uh, Hadrian's Gate and remains of houses and a lot more. So that's over here. So uh, this is a short impression of where I'm at. So apparently you can get a reduced price if you're European, if you're under 25. So I could get in here for free, <laughs> but I have my passport at the apartment and I only brought my ARC. So on my ARC it says I'm Dutch, but it says it in Chinese. So people don't understand the Chinese, so I got the reduced price. So I could go here for 4 euros. Otherwise it's 8 euros by the way. So it says right here, this used to be a bath place, so it would have all the different sections like the dressing room, the Roman bath and everything. You can see better from here, it has the round shapes and that's where the water was supposed to be. These are the pillars of some old temple and from here you can also still see the Acropolis over there. And these are all big little pieces of what you see. Look at that, the Sapeum, Sapeum. This looks exciting. So this is the National Garden. Let's go. I'm kind of hot and tired, so I found a place to eat on a nice little terrace in the center, close to the flea market. And I ordered my food, so I'm gonna wait for that. My lunch arrived, I already ate some. <laughs> I forgot to take the video. This is a Greek salad and that's pita bread. And this is pita with grilled cheese. So I already had way too much to eat and now this dessert is on the house, so I can eat this too. Let's go find some souvenirs. So this is the flea market. Got some souvenirs. Another church in the city. And this is the big shopping street, so I'm gonna go shopping for a little bit. This is probably the most beautiful H&M I've ever been in. It has all the pillars. Isn't this just stunning? The flag, the building, the mountain behind it, this park. I put on a dress and freshened up and I put on some different shoes, heels and I'm going out for dinner. Sintagma Square. We are back at Monastiraki Square this time from a different angle. Pretty sure I've now almost seen seen almost all of the sites. So this over here is Hadrian's library. This used to be a library. Pretty cool library if you ask me. So I ordered moussaka and I got it with bread and a rosé and look at the view for dinner. The sun is setting, it's so pretty. The city is so alive at night too. Back to the apartment. And so this is what Athens looks like when the sun is setting. Good morning, it's yet another sunny day in Athens. I put on a little dress. And I'm gonna put on some sneakers. I packed my bag and I'm ready to go out. I'm going to this hill called Lycabettus Hill, I think is what it's called. Um, it's pretty 
tall. I think it's the tallest hill in the area. So it's supposed to have really good views. And I'm gonna hike that up or take a cable car. Um, and then I wanna go to the market today. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do. It's my last day here in Athens tomorrow morning. Uh, around 10 I'm flying out to Rome so I have to get some things done today too anyway this is the dress for today very white and blue very Greek I guess found a little spot for breakfast cappuccino and a view cheers back on the metro I took the metro two steps, two stops from the Acropolis and now I'm at the National Library and I forgot what else and it's stunning. Some fountains, beautiful building and look at that. It even has all the golden details on top. I came here to go up a hill but I can't find a hill. Like I don't see it from here, it's probably behind some building. Um, I'm not sure if I'm walking the right direction, but I'll... F oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. I'll show you. Over there, you can see the top. That, that's the top. My legs are so tired and now I have to walk up these stairs. And this hill back there, I already walked that. Yesterday, I walked like 20 kilometers and the day before that too. I'm at the cable car and I got this round trip ticket for 10 euros. I'm on the cable car. <laughs> it goes very steep. See? It's so steep. So, that was it. A five minute ride. Now we're here. There's a very nice breeze up here. And you don't even know me amazing. like that. You can pick on you here best too. time. Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night, throwing drinks back. Blue eyes, smiling while you're cursing. I admit it's working. You're working. Don't care, you're crazy is perfect. Shaky and I'm slurring. Cause I'm nervous. Yesterday during dinner, I thought the Acropolis was so big and from here it just looks so tiny over there. <laughs> I mean, I have to zoom in to actually, you know, see it. That's the Acropolis. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the view for now. I bought this book about Greek mythology yesterday and this view is just amazing to read this book. I found a little cafe restaurant on the mountain and... And it's very windy up here, so they have their glass around it, but I'm still like outside and I have to bend, so it's super nice temperature and in the shade. And I just ordered an iced tea, and now I'm just looking at the view and enjoying that and taking it easy because right now it's 11.20. And this afternoon I probably want to go to market, probably want to go to... Um, see one more place, maybe the stadium or maybe another temple, but we'll see. Cheers Athens. I sat down for lunch and I have stuffed tomatoes, stuffed pepper and white wine. I am back home for a little bit. I just got some groceries, I'll show you. I got um, cherries and yogurt for tomorrow morning for breakfast and I got goat cheese and a peach for I don't know if I feel like eating a snack tonight. Um, this morning I had breakfast at a restaurant or cafe and I want to do that tomorrow too but I have to be at the airport around 8 o'clock like almost 9 o'clock, 8.30 ish something like that so I don't really have the time because I have to travel to the airport which takes about an hour or more so I just figured I'll have breakfast at home. <laughs> I found a place to eat, so I ordered kiros, which is the meat, and I'm sitting semi inside right now. Um, yeah, pretty much inside. Which is fun for a change because the wall is so pretty. 
Also, I got this, which is for your hair. I don't know how you put it on, but you're supposed to put it in your hair and then you have like the braids. Pretty cool. Look at that. See you all. That looks so good. I wasn't hungry, but seeing this, I'm gonna eat all of this. Back at the square on the way to the subway. One last thing to see is the guards here at the palace. Just like at Buckingham Palace, they're standing very, very still. They can't move. I am back home and this is how you wear this headband. It's very pretty, I love it. The gold with my hair color. Um, so I'm back home, it's, I don't know, uh, 9.15 right now. And I have to make sure that this is all packed and ready to go because I have to leave the house tomorrow morning very early. So I have to clean that up and on the table there's some more stuff. It's a bit of a mess really. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go through that, see how long it takes me. It does not look good like this, but peaches and goat cheese is the most amazing combination ever. That was it again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, right now I'm still in the Netherlands, so the videos are kind of irregular, but they're coming your way. Next week's video is about my trip in Italy, so you you can look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!